This next one is very similar. Again, we have to draw out um, this angle. We ha are given that this particular angle is in the third quadrant because it's between pi and 3 pi over 2. So we know it looks like this. And we're get the, given that the tangent or the opposite side is a ratio of 1 half. Now, I know in the third quadrant both the horizontal and vertical distances are negative. So I'm going to label them appropriately. And then I can find the length of the hypotenuse by taking negative 1 squared plus negative 2 squared and taking the square root. That's going to be the square root of 5. So again, we're going to use those side ratios and our double and half angle formulas for the sine of 2u. That's going to be 2 times the sine of u cosine of u, which is 2 times the sine of u is... I should have labeled that u, sorry. Negative 1 over root 5. Um, let's not worry about rationalizing because it may work out for us here. And the cosine is negative 2 over root 5. If I multiply all of this out, I get 2 times negative 1 times negative 2, which is 4. And root 5 times itself is 5. So 4 fifths is our answer here. All right, for the cosine of 2u, that's going to be the sine squared of u. Oops, sorry, cosine squared of u minus the sine squared of u. We already said that the cosine of u was negative 2 over root 5. We're going to square that, and we're going to subtract the sine of u, which is negative 1 over root 5. We'll square that. This will become 4 over 5 because... Um, negative 2 squared is 4, and root 5 squared is 5. We'll subtract out 1 over 5, giving us an answer of 3 fifths for the cosine of 2 times angle u, or doubling angle u. Now again, we could apply the formula for tangent, but since we have the sine of 2u and cosine of 2u, we know the tangent of 2u will equal the sine of 2u over the cosine of 2u which will be 4 fifths divided by 3 fifths, which is 4 fifths times that reciprocal there. And we get an answer of 4 thirds. Problem solved.